This Warrior Recap is brought to you by Game Face 808, Hawaii's headquarters for custom photo sports balls and gifts. Visit them online at GameFace808.com. Amino Akas and Shakas, it's Pu'ukani, a Pipeline of Paradise Radio, reporting for IslandSportsMedia.com, your ultimate island-style sports magazine. Homecoming week for the University of Hawaii Warriors, and if history would be on their side, then oh, happy days would come again. Hawaii winning their last seven homecoming games, looking to make it eight straight. Both teams explosive on offense, with Hawaii coming into the game as the nation's third-ranked passing offense, but on that night, it was their rushing offense that did the damage. Damage. Either way, fireworks expected, fireworks delivered. Into the game we go as Utah State struck first blood as running back Robert Turbin scampered in from 7 yards out, 7-0 Aggies. But a few minutes later, the Warriors came out to play, answering the call with quarterback Bryant Moniz hooking up with receiver John Medeiros for 57 yards, nodding the game up at 7. With a second left in the first quarter, running back Leon Wright-Jackson runs it in from 1 yard out, Warriors 14, Aggies 7. Hawaii's defense anchored by senior linebacker Blaze Soares lived out the battle cry of sponsor Under Armour, protect this house, and that they did. While the Warrior defense held strong, the offensive fireworks continued in the second with Hawaii scoring another three touchdowns. The first, Moniz to wide out Javante Taylor for 35 yards. That was followed up by another rushing touchdown by Leon Wright-Jackson, dashing in from nine yards out. And a few minutes before the half, Moniz hooked up with Greg Salas for a 10-yard score. The loyal fans on hand at Aloha Stadium had a lot to cheer and celebrate about their home team with a commanding lead at halftime, Hawaii 35, Utah State 7. But in the second half, Utah State put together a couple of scoring drives of their own, starting the half the way they started the game, with running back Turbin scoring his second rushing touchdown on the night, lunging in from three yards out, followed by Aggies quarterback DeAndre Burrell, finding receiver Jeremy Mitchell for a 16-yard touchdown pass. Would it be a comeback for Utah State? Not on homecoming night. The Warriors running game took over with two running backs exceeding the century mark. Alex Green with 112 yards on the night and running back Leon Wright-Jackson rushing for 167 yards total. Wright-Jackson cashing in on three touchdowns. Receiver Greg Salas also put in two touchdowns, making it 187 yards of receiving for him in the game. When the dust settled, the Warriors were victorious. The final score on homecoming night, Hawaii 49, Utah State 36. After the game, spirits were high as Big Wave Dave caught up with several Hawaii players, including offensive tackle Aaron Kia. Aaron, recently you've been taking a lot of criticism from people in the media, people from fans, but one thing about you I noticed, you really have a love for the game. The people who come early, you're the first guy out of the tunnel. You come to it every game, and I can really see the love you have in the game. And after the game, when you're singing the alma mater, I see you you're with the, the cheerleading squad, you're with the people that support you, and you know, win or lose, you, you always have that positive attitude. What's something that you can share with the fans for this next four games? We mean. You gonna hate on me? Hate on me. I don't know about it because I don't read what y'all say. I play for the fans who believe in me, who believe in our team. I'm not gonna let negative talk bring me down. I'm not gonna read all that and listen to all that uh, negative talk. Don't judge me, you know? I play for the love of football. I don't, I play for everybody who stands for us and who never gives up on us. You're one of the leaders on the team. You're one of the you guys recruiting class from your freshman year, you know, just been your fifth year. You've been to the best times. You've been to hard times in 2005. With four games remaining and, you know, one game at a time, I think with players like like you, you can help some of the other guys game by game prepare for next week. It's just like, it's like high school again. We got to make the OIAs. <laughs> and then for the OIAs in this case, is we just got to make that bowl game. I'm not going to look ahead though. We got to take it week by week. You can't chop a big tree down with one swipe. It takes little cuts every time. And you know, those little cuts, that's one game every time. Boom, boom. Right now we got that one hit and we got four more. Four more to take that tree down, you know, and that's, uh, that is our goal. Big Wave Dave also spoke with Warrior running back Leon Wright Jackson. It was credited to the line. The line was giving us holes and I was just hitting them and so was AG. For you, you have four games remaining in your career here. What's something you can look forward to next week? Uh, just uh, concentrating, uh, get ready for uh, New Mexico State. We're going to take it one game at a time. and I'm not worried about the, you know, the four. I'm worried about the one right now that's next week, so 
That's how I want to end my career. Big Wave Dave also caught up with linebacker Blaze Soares. Thanks. During the, this week, um, Coach Matt, you guys had that um, that time you guys watched the movie, the uh, Michael Jackson movie, and you know he stressed for each member of the team, you know, to look in the mirror, you know, to, to look at that man in the mirror. It's not something that it seemed you needed because this season you've been playing in, intensely, but with tonight's performance, I mean, it, it was like an, a renewed spark. Based on what Coach Matt said about that looking that man in the mirror, you know, what was it? something that took that message? and brought to tonight's game. You know, um, I have to look in the mirror too, you know, even though I've been making plays. I have to make more plays, you know. Um, I just had to um, look at myself and just tell myself that, you know, uh, I got four, five more games, I had five more games. It's going to go for broke and it's just do what you got to do to just have fun and uh, remember how much I love this game because you never know what's going to happen after this season. Tonight, uh, the offense really put up big numbers, but as you know, being a local boy growing up, you know the Hawaii people, they get off on big hits. When you had that this afternoon, you know, it seems to ignite the fans and also your, your teammates. So as far as um, next week, it's a week by week kind of thing. What's something you're going to look forward to next week's about New Mexico State? Uh, you know, next week, uh, we had a lot of mistakes this week. You know, we got to fix that, correct them. And then, you know, but yeah, it's true. You know, once somebody makes a big play, a big hit or a big tackle, whatever it is, or a big snap, everybody feeds off one another, you know. And it gets that, that uh, team morale just going and everybody just feels a lot more confident, you know. And then and everybody starts to have fun, you know. That's something that we've been missing. Everybody's been too serious. And uh, so now everybody's just starting to have fun. And when you have fun, you see good results. All in all, it was a big win for Hawaii as Coach McMackin said after the game. And I quote, a lot of people have given up on us, but there are many who have stayed with it just like the people in the stands. I appreciate them so much and so do the players, unquote. In my opinion, victory was needed, victory was accomplished, and victory was sweet. Next up for the Warriors, the other Aggies in the WAC come to town this Saturday. Hawaii versus New Mexico State at Aloha Stadium for their final home conference game. Kickoff 5.05 Hawaii Standard Time. Go Warriors! I'm Pu'ukani of Pipeline in Paradise Radio reporting for IslandSportsMedia.com, your ultimate island-style sports magazine.